Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the weekly contest 291, minimum consecutive cards to pick up. So to have, uh, for this problem, um, to have con to have matching cards, the first thing you have to do is by hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button uh, if you haven't already, and also join me on Discord if you like. Uh, we could talk about these problems and whether you found this easy or hard or I don't know, whatever you like. Uh, but but no, the, I, okay, but the, the first thing to notice is that n is 10 to the fifth. Um, and it's the first thing to notice because that means that you cannot do something n squared, right? n squared is too slow, can't do it. Um, the, so you have to make an observation. To make The observation that to notice is that, um, well, there's a sort of a greedy property, right? Yeah, meaning that if you want to find a pair of matching cards, you just minimize how um you know minimize how close they are and that's pretty much the idea because let's say let's say you have these this four and this four and they're matching right you're not going to add an extra three to the end that's you know so in that way it's going to be greedy so then now now that you have this idea of okay let's just so these two um cards have to be endpoints if you will of the subarray with, or, or consecutive cards which is subarray right so then th that means that now for each you just have to look for each number. You have you just have to look at the left uh, to see how far you have to go, and then check to the right maybe. But but by eight, uh, by symmetry, you only have to check left. Uh, and that's basically what I did here. Is that I have a seen array that keeps track of the last index that we've seen that number. I have just like an infinity thing, and sometimes I forget this. That's why I wrote this early uh, quickly. If you watch me solve a Leibniz contest, I actually wrote this like pretty early, eh, maybe not that early, but early-ish. Um, I, 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 uh, I actually deviated a little bit from my usual, uh, usually, and what I mean by that is usually I, I define an infinite infinity thing, um, just, just so that it's slightly harder to make a typo, but I didn't do it. Thankfully, I have no typo, I think. Um, but in any case, yeah, so basically for each card, for, uh, we look at index, if we've seen it before, then we we just keep we just look at how many cards that we pick up. Let's say this is the right endpoint. What is the left endpoint? And th that's the number of cards. And that's basically the min here. Um, and then we update it to update it to be the last one seen. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, if if we haven't found any, you know, if there are no dupe cards at all, then this is going to be negative one. Otherwise, we just return the the smallest that we have. And that's pretty much it. Um, this is going to be a linear time and linear space. You could see the linear time here um we only have all of one operations and linear space is just this scene away um cool that's pretty much all i have for this one let me know what you think and yeah you could watch me solve a live in contest next uh, i solved this in about well about a minute and a half so yeah okay hmm So... Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you like these contest problems. We we go over them every contest and day. Uh, yeah, 
stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye bye.